Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. So today I'd like to show you how to use the TriCaster control panel to control the virtual camera inside of your virtual sets. Now this will allow you to line up shots just the way you want with a tactile feel, so let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so I'm going to start off in the TriCaster TC1 interface and show you how to adjust the virtual camera positioning within the interface before I move over to the control panel. All right, so to do that, first let me show you I have mix effect number two, which is what I'll be working with, punched up on program and preview so that we can take a look at that shot as I do some changes to it. And I have mix effect two expanded here so that we can get a hold of the controls. All right, so we're going to ignore all of this over here. Uh, that's just going to be what's on our layer A and layer B of the virtual set. And uh, here is where we're going to be adjusting the positioning of our camera. So we have this T-bar here, and this T-bar will control the zoom aspect of our virtual cameras. So you'll just left click on that, hold it down on your mouse, and there we go. We can zoom into that shot. All right, now, of course, I can only do the zoom this way, so I need to adjust the positioning of that. So I'll use the, uh, you guessed it, positioning right here underneath that. So uh, you'll see when I hover my mouse above that, my cursor turns into a little cross, and then I can just left click, hold it down, and then move it up, and position that the way I want it to. All right, so that's looking good. So uh, review, T-bar controls the zoom, and positioning controls the positioning. All right, so now let's move over to the TriCaster control panel here. Here we go. I'm working with my two-stripe control panel. And uh, so all the controls for the virtual camera uh, within your virtual sets are going to be controlled by this joystick over here in the top right. And now we need to tell the joystick what we're going to be controlling. All right, so uh, there's two ways to assign it. One thing that I can do is I can have this joystick control whatever uh, uh, stripe is uh, assigned up here at the top. So to review, to do that, we'll hit delegate stripe here in the control panel. And then I'm using mix effect number two. So we'll hit mix effect number two. And then I can say follow stripe here in the top right. And now we are good to go. So now all the positioning will be done here. So uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here real quick. All right, so I have follow stripe currently selected. That's one way to do it. Me personally, I find it easier to just simply click on the mix effect that I want to use up here. So that way I can have my top stripe be assigned to anything I want and I don't have to worry about going through and making sure that's echoed it. But again, your show, your call. All right. Uh, so I have mix effect two selected. If I hit that one, that will start to uh, assign, you know, make changes to mix effect number one. So we don't want to do that for this example. We'll stay on mix effect number two. All right, now over here on the right, this is what the positioning is going to be controlling via this joystick. So these A, B, C, and D, that, just to review, that's going to let you uh, control the positioning of your four layers within your virtual sets if they have four layers uh, or your four layer sets or just, you know, however it's configured, A, B, C, and D. And then this will control your downstream keyers, sorry, your upstream keyers on your mix effects. But keynote here, we have to press live set here, and now I am controlling mix effect number two's live set position and scale. All right, so that's kind of how you're going to read that. And then to zoom into your shot, you'll grab your joystick and twist it to the right, and that will zoom in, twist it to the left, and it'll zoom out. And then you can zoom in here again and you can use your joystick then push it up and that'll push it up down left right all around there you go so this is, allows you to have a nice tactile feel of your virtual camera instead of having to go through and use the interface to do all that you can do it directly from this lovely control panel here so as you can see, using the control panel to control your virtual camera in your virtual sets is a quick and easy way to make your shots looking super nice. Now, if you like this video and would like to see similar tutorial videos on new tech products, click on that subscribe button on the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formal new tech product training, you can sign up for New Tech University available at newtech.com slash newtech-u. 
And for more information on New Tech products and services, you can contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And lastly, if you are sharing your work on social media using New Tech products, tag us using the hashtags New Tech or TriCaster. We'd love to see what y'all are working on. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for the next edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.